Cal Poly football drops to 0 and 5 in the state of Ohio since 1999. I'm Andrew Masuda with your KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute. The Mustangs are 14th and 16th in this week's polls after falling 28-10 at Ohio University. Jordan Yoakum rushed for a career-high 130 yards. However, Tony Smith completed just one of 11 passes for 12 yards. He also threw two interceptions. In the game, Cal Poly lost 270-pound offensive lineman Art Munoz for the season to a broken leg and senior slot back John Hall for a few weeks to injury. Cal Poly plays its second straight FBS opponent this Saturday at San Jose State. It's their first meeting since 2006 when the Spartans won 17-7. Cal Poly men's soccer is riding a two-game winning streak. The Mustangs blanked Sacramento State 4-0, then beat San Jose State 2-1 just two days later. Paul Holliher and his men traveled to the Northwest this weekend to play two matches at a tournament hosted by the University of Washington. The Lady Mustangs scored two 1-0 wins in the Rocky Mountains last week. Senior goalkeeper Coral Hoover recorded two shutouts on her way to being named the Big West Athlete of the Week. With their overall record at 4-4, four and four, the women play at 7th-ranked Cal this week before playing their first home match in seven games on Sunday against Arizona. Cal Poly Volleyball won two of its three matches at the second annual Mission Inn of Pismo Beach Invitational. They were their first home matches of the year after spending the first three weeks of the season on the road. With a 4-9 mark in non-conference play, the Lady Mustangs start over at 0-0 as they serve up Big West play Friday in Mott Gym against 18th-ranked UC Irvine, followed by UC Riverside. Freshman sensation Angie Haven lived up to the hype. She scored Queen of the Pool honors last week in Cal Poly's home dual meet against the defending national champs from Cal. It was the first home meet in the newly renovated Anderson Aquatic Center. And with this week's KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minutes, I'm Andrew Masuda.